hi and welcome back to my channel you guys so today is saturday i did not get a chance to vlog on yesterday because y'all know i normally do a friday vlog but i didn't get a chance to because i just had too much going on but i said you know what i do want to i did want to get my vlog in because i realized this is the last saturday in the month of march and that also means that this is the end of the first quarter of the year can you guys believe we've already hit the end of the first quarter of the year so i wanted to just kind of come on and talk about or i should say encourage you to begin the second quarter strong some of us may have had great starts in the first quarter and then it just kind of fell off a little bit some of us didn't get started at all so it's okay we can't change that but we can move forward and make the second quarter amazing. So I'm actually headed out to go pick up my niece and then Frankie and I are gonna hang out. Well, actually it's his niece, but I say my niece. And then we're gonna hang out for, the, for a couple of hours and I'm gonna get it on back home so that I can get ready for church tomorrow. But today is beautiful, you guys. It is 79 freaking degrees, 79 degrees. Now I had my sunroof open, but there was, a bit of a glare coming in so i hope it's not too bad because i can't control the glare coming in from the back window but anyway so before i jump into my encouragement i just want to say that this week has has been long has been busy and somewhat troublesome and when i say somewhat troublesome it's because yesterday i saw a young lady who did a video on YouTube, I'm not YouTube, Facebook, and she was talking about how she was tired of living this lie. She was coming out of the closet about how the guy she was dating was physically and mentally abusive to her. And that just broke my heart into pieces. I actually let the tears just fall because I can't, I can't imagine dealing with that kind of stuff because I've never had to deal with it just a little bit once, but I nipped that in the bud because y'all know I don't play. But I just, I can't even begin to imagine the hell that she's been going through. And so I just want you guys, even though you don't know who she is, just to pray for her as I am praying heavily for her that she will not have any backlash because a lot of times when you expose people, you know, they want to threaten you. So I'm just praying that she has no backlash from this and that she'll be okay. My hope also is that she will go and file a police report if necessary just to just to cover herself but my prayers are with her i think she has a powerful message to share with people with many many women and i just went men uh, women sometimes men too and so i just want to pray that god will keep his covering over her and that she will be able to share that story with many more people because it's one that truly needs to be heard so that's that's that but other than that my day is just going great i ended up getting a sports massage at one o'clock this afternoon it's right now it's 5 48 but i ended up getting a sports massage about one o'clock this afternoon when i tell y'all good lord i it it was a little uncomfortable i will say that but when i got finished i felt a little bit better come on lady let's turn what are we doing really but I felt so much better when I left than when I came in. Lord, today, we got to go around Slowpoke Mary here. And so, but it was a little uncomfortable. And so Trevor said, look, the next time you come back, I need to see you for a 90 minute massage. So I did book that before I left. And, and guess what, you guys, I'm going on my birthday. Hey, so I'm excited. So it'll be my birthday gift to myself. So I'm going to go, and I was telling him about this pain. I shared this with you guys before, how I have this pain, like right back here behind my shoulder, my um, the back of my shoulder on both sides. And this pain, especially on the left side, it gets so intense sometimes. It just hurts to breathe. So he told me what the problem is. He said, the problem really is not my back. He said, the problem is coming from my pecs. He said, I have very tight pec muscles and it's affecting my shoulder and my lats and I'm feeling it in the back. I said, I'll be daggone, but you know, that's just the way the, the body is wired. So I'm going to be working on trying to get that under control because I, I'm not going to stop working out. I love working out. Now I may switch up my workout to accommodate the pain, but I still want to work out just because I love it. 
Now, on to why I'm doing this vlog. So I just, again, I wanted to say for those of you who set goals for this first quarter and you met those goals, I want to say congratulations. I really do. Because I think that is an amazing thing to do because it's so easy to get off track and a lot of people have. And truth be told, a lot of folks didn't even make a plan because they figured, well, I'll just wing it. And you can't wing everything. So for those of you that stayed on, on track and accomplished your goals for this first quarter, I know I accomplished mine, so I'm excited about that. And I'm excited about the goals that I've set for myself for the second quarter. See, I decided instead of trying to do this one big massive plan of action, I would break down my goals by quarters. And so as we go into, on Monday is the first of the the 1st of April. And so as we move into a new month, I am super excited about, I'm gonna pull over right here because when I go around the corner, my niece may be coming out and I have to cut my vlog off. But um, I, I what, what was I saying? Monday starts a new quarter and because it's April the 1st. And so I want you to be ready to hit the ground running. So that means take the time. Today is Saturday. Tomorrow is Sunday. Take the time today and tomorrow to get your plan down on paper. Solidify it in your mind, but write it down on paper so that as you go into the second quarter, you are ready to hit the ground running because time is of the essence. You know, it seemed like just yesterday we were yelling Happy New Year, right? It was January 1. And then look at us. We're getting ready to go into April 1. The months are moving on. Time waits for no one. It waits for no one. So I need you guys to make sure you are staying on track and hitting your goals. Because it's important to me that you hit your goals. You might say, well, Michelle, why? You don't know me. And I don't. Your goal probably doesn't even affect me in any way, shape, or form, but I just really want you guys to achieve your goals. That is my main focus. So, like I said, come up with your... And if you're one of these people... Let me just take this off so I can breathe a little bit. <laughs> if you're one of these people that gets overwhelmed, I would say set small goals. So maybe create two or three goals for yourself. Truth be told, you can set one. And you can say, okay, there's three months in a quarter right so for the month of april set one goal for april okay set one goal for may and then one goal for june if you're big enough and bad enough to do it then you can set two goals for april two for may two for june and if you can do it three or more whatever it is that you do whatever goals you set i just want to encourage you that you set goals that you know that you can achieve don't just put pen to paper just for the sake of putting pen to paper because you'd have anything else better to do or because it looked good on paper create goals that you know that you can achieve are you parking here oh, okay set goals that you know that you can act you know actually achieve again it's not about just putting pen to paper because you just want to look good writing stuff down that's not what we're here for we are here to um to to create goals that we can actually achieve and i believe if you write down your goals and you make them such that you can achieve them and that you will stick with them you will do the daggone thing and that y'all that son is horrible so having said that i am going to leave you because i see my niece is standing outside waiting for me so i'm going to leave you guys with that thought that you can achieve any goal that you set for yourself so i want you okay this is much better so i want you to get to planning start getting those goals accomplished because i believe that there's great in you just like i believe there's great in me there is great in us get out there and do the damn thing thank you so much to my newest subscribers thank you so much to those of you that continue to support me in all that i do i love you guys to the moon and back and guess what there's nothing you can do about it let's get out there and achieve our goals for the second quarter of 2019 until our next car vlog on monday take care enjoy the rest of your weekend and i love you all bye